asshole that's trolling me, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. It's fake Cobra's bullshit. Dislike. <sighs> eh. I'm not gonna give the troll the satisfaction of watching his video on a live stream. That's what they want. But at the same time, a live reaction would be kind of funny now, wouldn't it? No, no, no. When I say my dad's printer was being a Jew, that was just a way of saying it was being stupid and not cooperating, you know. It's a horribly Semitic way of saying the printer was being stupid, basically. Um, my stepmom's computer was saying the printer's not connected, even though it's connected. And then I put the addresses on the uh, sheet wrong, so I had to redo that. I literally had to redo and retype the address is like three to four times before I finally got it. And then after several hours of dinking around with that, finally got it to work. And by the time I got the wands tubed up, the post office was closed. But tomorrow I'll be getting those wands in the mail as soon as possible. Because I know y'all are anxious to get your, get your hands on a real Cobra Craft wand. Not some fake phony imposter motherfucker. And here's the thing of it. Seeing that video, I recognize one of the wands that the supposed Gothic D was selling. So I'm like, wait a second. What if the assholes responsible for making fun of me and my YouTube are also the ones pretending to be two different wand stores? So, like, yeah, I want to apologize to Gothic D for, like, assuming that she basically was doing all this. I mean, that was my first guess because a lot of people, they, they, they want to see more drama on social media. So naturally they'll encourage it. However, when I put two and two together, I'm like, dude, hold on a second. I mean, I seen a comment on, on, on my uh, YouTube the other day Gothic D is not making wands. You people need to get a life. Basically what it said. And I could care whether she is or not less. You know what I'm saying? It's just friendly competition. But nothing beats an original Cobra Craft wand. Trust and motherfucking belief. I'm giving you people real handmade wands at a real affordable price. And when I went into my bank earlier to, to get some money out to withdraw so I could get groceries and make sure that my wands were shipped out. Bank teller's like, oh, you make wands? And I'm like, yeah. So I pulled them out of my bag and she was like, oh, that's so cool. So yeah, dude, people's reaction when they see him in person, they're just like, whoa, you know? And I mentioned that, yeah, not a whole lot of things are handmade anymore, so that's a fair price. <sighs> I tried. And I was on a good schedule, too. I got to my parents' house in time to get the wands tubed up and taken out to the post office. Had technology decided not to be ridiculous. And it was my sister Sammy's 13th birthday. That's most definitely what's up. So my parents are like, my parents are like, you want to stay for cake and ice cream? I'm like, well, yeah, okay, if you're offering, sure, why not? I mean, I felt bad because I missed my first sister's 21st birthday, so, yeah. And, you know, it sucks that uh, I couldn't get her anything for her birthday, but, man, yeah, I'm a broke-ass adult. <laughs> but no, you know what I'm saying? She's a little trooper, man. She survived her surgery. That's most definitely what's up, but she pulled through it okay. She seems to be getting better for the most part, which is good. And this is something that my little 13-year-old sister told me. She goes, 
I don't do social media because of all the bullying and negativity. And I'm like, you know what? That's pretty perceptive for such a young age. Right on. And I said, yeah, I reckon that dealing with bullies in your school is a lot easier. Dealing with bullies on social media, they're a lot harder to track because the internet is so much bigger than one simple junior higher middle school, you know? And if we could get bullying to stop in the schools, so the only time we got bullied was on social media, I think the world would be a little bit better. It wouldn't be perfect, but it'd be a lot better. While I was getting my wands tubed up, I got to see OB Lily and Sadie Do. They were happy to see me. And I think Sadie has definitely warmed up to me now because as soon as she saw me, her tail started wagging real fierce, you know, and she practically was fighting the other two dogs to be, to be the first one petted. And I'm like, geez. <laughs> But that's just my natural gift with animals, yo. Know? And a, a lot of chicks don't see that. A lot of chicks just see this creepy, autistic, gothic exterior. They don't see what an amazing person I can be. I'm awesome with elderly people. I'm awesome with children. I'm awesome with animals. And that's something that most women don't see. Yeah.